Speaking of your vote, three candidates for governor in Oregon are spending millions of dollars to sway you in their favor. And with 34 days until the election, we have the results of a new poll to share with you. This one comes from Emerson College Polling. That's a nonpartisan organization that's been doing these kinds of polls for a decade. And before we jump into the numbers, I want to give you some details on this particular poll. They surveyed 796 very likely voters. No idea why they didn't get to 800, but they did it last Friday and Saturday through text links to the surveys, emails that then link to the surveys, and by phone. And the margin of error for the poll, by the way, 3.4%. Ready? Okay, let's dig in. The numbers show that Christine Drazen has a very slight lead over Tina Kotek, 36% to 34%, Betsy Johnson lagging at 19%. One of the cool things about this is we can break it down by gender as well. So when we go to men, we see that 47% of those polled said they were gonna vote for Christine Drazen, 27% for Tina Kotek, and Betsy Johnson gets 16%. Now, when we switch over to women, Here's what we see. Christine Drazen loses a bunch of support. Only 26% of the women will vote for her. 39% say they're going for Kotek. 23% say they're going for Betsy Johnson. And we can also slice this with independents. So let's see what the independents are saying. Look at that. 34% of independents going for Christine Drazen, 18% for Tina Kotek, and 29% for Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson is the independent, unaffiliated candidate in the race, so having 34% of those voters go for Christine Drazen, bad news for Betsy Johnson. All right, if we go back to the overall here, we can see, again, Christine Drazen ahead of Tina Kotek. And you know, these numbers are really similar to what we saw in a poll by DHM Research for the Oregonian last week. Drazen up just very slightly. Kotek within that margin of error and Johnson trailing by 10 plus percentage points. And don't just take it from me. Check out what the senior vice president of DHM Research, John Horvick, tweeted out this week about the Emerson College poll. A lot of consistency in the recent Oregon governor polling. Drazen with the narrowest of leads over Kotek and Johnson not able to budge from about 20%.